Yo, what is up everybody? It's your Propix Media again. We are the international source for everything media. Today we're diving deep into the heart of the Big Apple, exploring the neighborhoods that make this city pulsate with life, excitement, and let's be real, sometimes a little bit of chaos. From the glitz and glamour of the Upper East Side to the gritty charm of the East Village, we're giving you the inside scoop on what it's really like to live, breathe, and navigate the concrete jungle. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe now. Let's get into it. First up, we're hitting up the Upper East Side, the stomping grounds of the city's elite. Think Park Avenue penthouses, designer boutiques, and enough Michelin stars to make your head spin. We're talking about a whole different tax bracket here, people. But hey, even if you're on a budget, it's fun to window shop and soak up the atmosphere. Central Park is practically in their backyard, so you know the air is a little bit fresher up here. And let's not forget the museums, the Met, the Guggenheim, all within walking distance. But let's be real, the real estate here? Forget about it. Next stop, Harlem, a neighborhood that needs no introduction. From the Apollo Theater to the streets that gave birth to jazz legends, Harlem pulsates with a rhythm and soul that's impossible to ignore. This is where you'll find some of the best soul food in the city, hands down. And the street art? It's like an outdoor art gallery, each mural telling a story. Harlem is a reminder that New York is a melting pot of cultures, and this neighborhood wears its heritage with pride. All right, let's hop across the East River to Williamsburg, Brooklyn. This is where the cool kids hang out. Think vintage shops, independent coffee shops on every corner, and enough facial hair to make a lumberjack jealous. It's got a creative energy that's contagious, plus the waterfront views of Manhattan are pretty epic. Now we're heading to Chelsea, a neighborhood that's always buzzing with activity. This is where you come for world-class art galleries, chic restaurants, and a little bit of celebrity spotting. If you're into art, Chelsea Market is a must-see. It's a foodie paradise, too, with everything from artisanal cheeses to fresh-baked bread. And don't even get me started on the High Line. Next up, we're taking a trip back in time to Greenwich Village, a neighborhood that's been a haven for artists, writers, and free spirits for decades. Today, the village still has that bohemian atmosphere, with its independent bookstores, cozy cafes, and charming brownstones. Washington Square Park is the heart and soul of the neighborhood, a place where street performers, chess players, and students all come together. It's a reminder that even in a city as fast-paced as New York, there are still pockets of tranquility and creativity. Now we're venturing into East New York, a neighborhood that's seen its fair share of challenges but is also experiencing a wave of change. This is a place where you'll see abandoned buildings next to brand new developments, a testament to the ongoing gentrification happening in many parts of the city. East New York has a reputation for being rough around the edges, but it's also a neighborhood with a strong sense of community. Brownsville is a neighborhood that's been hit hard by poverty and crime. It's a place where many residents struggle to make ends meet and where opportunities can be scarce. But even in the face of adversity, there's a resilience here that's impossible to ignore. Brownsville is a reminder that not all of New York glitters and that there are communities facing real challenges that deserve our attention. Let's head up to the Bronx, a borough that's often misunderstood and misrepresented. This is a borough with a rich history, a vibrant art scene, and a diverse population. The Bronx is home to Yankee Stadium, the New York Botanical Garden, and the Bronx Zoo. It's also a borough with a strong sense of community where families have deep roots and traditions are passed down through generations. Last but not least, we're taking the ferry to Staten Island, a borough that often feels a world away from the hustle and bustle of Manhattan. Staten Island is known for its suburban vibe, its green spaces, and its mostly free ferry ride that offers stunning views of the Statue of Liberty. It's a place where you can find a little more peace and quiet, but it also has its challenges. But for those seeking a more residential feel, Staten Island might just be the perfect fit. We couldn't talk about New York neighborhoods without mentioning Times Square, the crossroads of the world. This is where bright lights, Broadway shows, and sensory overload collide. It's a must-see for any first-time visitor to New York. But let's be real. Most locals avoid it like the plague. But hey, there's no denying the energy of Times Square. 
just be prepared to dodge selfie sticks and overpriced souvenirs. So there you have it. A glimpse into the diverse and dynamic neighborhoods that make up New York City. From the upscale avenues of the Upper East Side to the gritty streets of Brownsville, each neighborhood has its own distinct personality and story to tell. New York is a city of contrasts, a place where dreams are chased and challenges are met head on. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content. What did you think? Which New York City neighborhood would you call home? Let me know in the comments below.